welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining us this morning for the Fitchburg Public Library. We got Taken, we got Kristen, we got Jeremy. It's a party. It is. It is a big party. Mm -hmm. Happy March. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot going stuff. on in March. A lot of stuff going on in March. You guys got a lot of fun programs. Some new programs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some things coming back. Yeah. Some things to get excited for. <laughs> We'll start with Kristen, because we I have to joke it off. Like, who's gonna go first? I'm like, I'm gonna surprise you. Uh, Kristen, uh, in the uh, the children's uh, uh, part of the library, uh, you've got some fun programs coming up. A new part, uh, new partnership and program, a children's American uh, story. Hour. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, so I'm going to let you re-say that. <laughs> so it's a Children's African Story Hour. I missed that part. <laughs> it's a partnership with the UW African American Studies Program. Um, it's pretty exciting. It is a six-week. Um, it's six different weeks, but it's every other week. So the next one will be March 18th, and that's 3.30 on Mondays, and then it's every two weeks from there. Um, there is um, a craft, a book, there's drumming, there's you learn different languages, little snacks, all kinds of fun stuff. Wow. So, That's really cool. And every time they focus in on a different country. So Interesting. Yeah. We'll have to stop in for that one. Uh, yeah, so you got six six opportunities, well, yep. less than six since you saw this we episode. We did one on the fourth, so... It was good. Good turnout. Good. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Good. Lots of fun. So. Good to hear. Uh, you also have uh, test prepping uh, going we on uh, for the kiddos. So it's three and a half hours of testing, but it's a great opportunity. It's a free ACT test for sophomores, um, a prep test. So I think the juniors are all taking the test at school. Everyone has the day off. Sophomores can come into the library. Um, they can sign up on our website. They do need to sign up though, so we know they're coming. Do we have limitations, but, like you book now so you get your spot? I would book now, yeah. So it's uh, March 12th. It starts at 9.30 in the morning, and then it goes until, I think, 1.30 or so. Gotcha. All right. Yes, yeah, so you have to sign up for that, so hit up the reference desk or give them a call for sure. Uh, you're going to be uh, having a fun party for the uh, solar eclipse. Exactly. We've been working hard on this one. Um, in preparation for the solar eclipse in April, we are doing a March program. It's March 20th at 6 p.m., for ages 5 to 12 in the fam and families, it's a lot of different stations, just um, stuff about the solar eclipse, and we will have some glasses available, um, first come, first serve, while they last. So we're not going to cool. give any glasses, yeah. but I'm going to come to that one. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then quickly, story times uh, returning in full swing here. Exactly. So story times, we've got preschool story time on Monday, 9.30 and 11. Lap set story time for the 0 to 2 um, kiddos, and that is Tuesdays at 11. And then we also have um, PJ story time, which is an evening one for those of you who can't make the morning one. And that will be March 25th at 6 p.m. That PJ one, how do you get people to calm down? Because that was always like in the title. I remember reading the story <laughs> of the, on regular show, and I'm always like, I wonder how they really get them to tear well, it down. We just get the energy out, <laughs> and then they calm down in the car right home. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. <laughs> All right, taking uh, over to your side of things, uh, uh, something I'm so excited that, that is coming back, and it's uh, the tech topics. Yes. It's so exciting. It is, yeah. We, we often get technology questions, so this is just a great time to set aside where people can sign up and talk about what topics they want to get help on. So it's um, they sign up for a 30-minute um, session, and it can cover anything from tech basics, um, how to use a mouse, um, sign up for email account. You can also learn how to use some of the library resources. Um, so our online databases, the Link Cat catalog, and then also Libby. Uh, if you have a device and you're not sure how to use the ebooks or audiobooks, that's a great time to stop in and, and check it out. It's really cool. You have to sign up though yes. for those slots. Mm -hmm. so it's yeah. not a walk in and, right. and uh, take it on. Yes, and, and that's March 19th, 11 to 1. So spots book up fast. I'm just going to take a stab here that, that's probably booking up pretty quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. We'll get uh, get booked up for sure. Mm -hmm. If you missed that one, don't worry. I got another one for you. How about okay. Craft Cafe? Craft Cafe. So that's going to be an evening. Um, going to join us for crafts, conversation, and some warm drink. And this month they're going to be making personalized postcards. So, Ooh. yeah. Personalized all, the, all the supplies for that will be provided. So you can just come and make your postcard and have some... Good conversation. Well, that'd be fun. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, if people want to uh, stay engaged or keep up on what's going on, where can we find some great information? You can find we have a lovely printed newsletter. It is also available online. 
Um, we have signs up in the library. You can always sign up for our emails too. So we send out a weekly youth email, a monthly adult email, and you'll ha have all the information in there. I get those every month. Yeah. That's good. Great. So it's a good good thing to be a, a part of. And for signing, generally speaking, when you sign up for programs, I don't know that we actually talk about this, where I was like, yeah, just go sign up or call somebody. But <laughs> but truly, you can go to, to any of the desks and ask to sign up for something, or do you have to go to the specific department to sign up? What do they uh, recommend? Um, usually you can probably go to e any desk. Um, the ACT test prep, that one's online because that is through another, through the company doing the test. But we can, anyone can show you how to get there and help you out with that information. Well, that's good. And if you want to book a room or space or anything, yeah. same deal. Like, can you come, like, directly to you guys? Like, hey, thinking about this conference room looking pretty <laughs> nice. Yes. So for that, you'd want to stop up, either call or stop up at the reference desk, and we can show you what the two different rooms we have, what study rooms are available. The study rooms are just come first, first come, first serve, but the other you can reserve, and we can help you out with all that. Awesome. All right. Well, we've got to get through March. Uh, I've already tried to ask about the summer reading program. Don't worry, I did that, that behind the scenes. They say it's coming, so yeah, the work has started. Yeah, we'll, they're working we'll very hard on that. See yes. where that goes. So, mm -hmm. all right. Well, thank you so uh, both of you so much uh, for uh, sharing all the great programs. And again, check out the website uh, or the newsletter, or stop in and just say hey to these two and say hey, I saw you on Talking Pittsburgh. <laughs> you guys did awesome. And who's that weird guy? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you.